Yeah, but celebrations for Ines Di Velasco. She's through to the Olympic Games. Now it's time for the gold medal match here at the Continental Qualifier. Promises to be an absolute beaut. On target number one. Number one, representing France, Lisa Barbara. On target number two, representing Turkey, Yasmin Aragor. The line judge of this match is Christina Tiflido. Shooting first will be on target number one. Well, here we go. World number eight from France, Lisa Barbalin, is 21 years old. She is flying very high here. She's seen her teammate go out in the quarterfinals, which means she booked a place for the French team. It's likely to be her that takes it, and she's going up against the world number 15, shooting on home soil. It's the 22-year-old Turkish archer, Yasmin Anagosh. It will be Lisa Barbalin who will shoot first. This for gold, bragging rights, and confidence in going in to the Tokyo Games. Nine. Well, the side is uh, both just going Eight. left there. I wonder if that's wind again. Nine. They look pretty much identical, I think, do they? One either side. Ten. Barbara Lamb finishing with a ten, putting this one out of reach. But Anagosh also finishing with a 10. Just ever so slightly creeping across from the left and finding the middle of the target at the end. So promising signs uh, from Anagosh, but certainly the early lead for the buoyant uh, Lisa Barbalan. She's looking very solid. The first two arrows just high in that nine and then finding the center. Yeah, she wasn't far out on those at all, was she? She's so determined. Look at that glare into the gold. She's here to take it down and win this quota tournament. I saw it even, uh, you know, look, I've, I'm sh there's huge amounts of respect between these archers, but it was excited applause when Anagosh was announced. It was almost like, right, come on, yep, yep, thank you very much, yeah, I'm showing you respect, but let's get on with this. She wanted to get to the shooting line. It's great to see an archer in that position. But Anagosh, despite only shooting a 27 compared to Barbaland's 28, shot an incredibly solid third arrow to shoot a 10. She does trail, but she shot first, and we saw in her semi-final, once she finds the middle, it's hard for her to miss it. Time for set number two. And so these archers go for gold, and of course those bragging rights. Ten. Right, the first time today, Lisa Barbalan is being put to the task. Ten. She's meeting it full on. We said that we were expecting a cracker, and <laughs> it's opened up beautifully. Nine. Both of these archers Nine. just on top form, both determined to show what they're made of ahead of the games. Ten. Well, just dropping Nine. into the eight there, so consistency Seven. dropped off a little bit for her. A 27 means massive opportunity for Barbara now here. Also going for a perfect. 
just going high and into the 29. So one point better than her first set, but four set points to nil up already. Look, she's flying high. She's doing really well. She looks relaxed. She's having fun. Uh, would it just be an added bonus if she does this in nine hours, or will that really make a difference to her? I think you can walk away with uh, your head super held high, couldn't you? Uh, uh, straight set win, um, but you know she's got to keep in the present. We've seen every other match at this point now go the other way. Um, no one winning in straight sets, so you know can she do it? She is determined. We can see the fire in her eyes. Um, can she and finish it in nine hours? Yeah, and uh, look, I think that there is a big opportunity for her to, to for her to do this in nine hours. The wind's dropped right off by the looks of things. It really has settled down, and the pressure on Anagosha on home soil, where Turkey haven't done so well, uh, you know, just the slightest error here opens the door for uh, Barbanan. So it will be Anagosha to shoot first in set number three, and bags of pressure on her. Uh, oh, apparently no pressure on her at all. Straight into the middle. Bonds. Yeah, I mean, these archers are shooting 70 meters. The 10 is the size of a CD, and they are smashing it right now. It's great. <laughs> well, Anagosh with a massive opportunity here to get herself on the scoreboard. Can she hit that CD in the middle of the target again? Eight. Out into the eight. And uh, just like that, these things can swing around. Barbaland can do it in nine. She needs to hit the center of the target. And to win. Oh, nine. just drifted out into the nine. So 28 apiece for, for these two. Uh, I've got to say, the pressure uh, was immense for Anagosh, but she shot two tens to start with, and then just dipped in that concentration again by the looks of things. Yeah, again, I thought I saw a bit of a movement, the front and back arm sort of coming inward, perhaps losing a bit of the pressure, a little bit what I call a soft shot again, so, um, yeah, it was just enough to open it up, wasn't it? But Lisa, I thought with those eyes fixed on the gold, I thought she'd got it, I thought that was going to go in the ten, it looked like such a great shot, just outside into the nine, and pushing us into a fourth set. Yeah, incredible shooting from both these archers here and uh, also a demonstration on how to handle the pressure. What we think we need to see from uh, Yasmin Anagosh is just showing that consistency, especially through the third arrow. Little bit of disappointment from Barbara Lamb, but she is having fun out there. Yeah, you saw her eyes onto the gold and then look into the right. She's looking at the big screen to see what she got and then she had a little bit of disappointment and then she smiled because she knew how close she was to taking it in nine arrows. Still eager to go there, popping up and jumping up and down on her, her toes there, just lifting her heels up. She's ready to go out here. Anagosh, though, showed that she has got resilience in the previous set. She'll start again, trailing by five set points to one. I remember Barbara just has to match Anagosh in this set to take the gold medal. Most of the areas to the right there. Good to see her get back a bit more central. Put it in the 10. Agosh oh needs a 10 to put some pressure on, and even then, Barbaland can take this. Takes the 9, so a 27 here. So an 8 is enough to draw level on the points in this set and take the one point she needs for gold in Antalya. Is it going to be the best of days for Lisa Barbaland? 
Oh, she needed an eight to win. She hasn't scored anything lower than a nine in the final. She got the eight that she needed, though, in order to draw level on set points and takes the gold medal here in Antalya. Six points to two against Yasmin Anagosh of Turkey. Nikki, look, look at the response from Barbalan. Yeah, great response. You know, they were just checking um, with a coach there afterwards. They weren't quite sure because we had to just make sure she had enough points there to take the win um, before great celebration. But she just looked so strong, didn't she? Since she won that spot, I mean, even before, to be fair, um, she was going to go out and win this. And yes, she did. Yeah, brilliant reaction. She's very happy to have won this. Um, it would be very interesting to hear what she has to say. Booked her spot on the French team by making it through the quarterfinals and then went on with, with just such joy, passion uh, and, and just a pleasure to watch her shooting for gold and taking the gold here in Turkey.